Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Stamp With Me. Make sure you check out everyone linked down below so you guys don't miss out on the wonderful stamping inspiration that we have this week. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future stamping episodes as well as the other videos I post. Today I'm doing an 85 by 11 layout and I've kind of been doing a lot of these lately. Actually, last month was a ton. This month I don't anticipate too many, but I did have this really cute photo of my cats at our old apartment in New York and I really wanted to use this as the title for it. So this is an old crepe paper sticker set that I've been trying to use up and I pulled out this main sticker here that says Our Home. And the background paper is from my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month, which is the Hello Darling DCWV paper pad. So I'm focusing on using my kit. So those crepe paper stickers, the Jen Hadfield sticker I just pulled out, that little hello there. But I don't know exactly what I want to do. I got some inspiration from a challenge over in the Erica Rose Creates group. And she had a challenge during National Scrapbooking Day to do a vertical styled layout. So doing something that runned up the vertical side instead of like horizontal side or diagonal pattern. You know, just a vertical pattern to your design. And that's what I decided to do. So I first started off by using this diagonal paper to mount my photo. Which in all honesty was probably a bad idea. You can kind of tell from this photo. But the banisters are on the top right corner. Then we have paneling on both sides of the staircase. Then there's the staircase itself, which means there's a lot of lines in the photo that go every single direction. But I decided to put another line in there by matting it on some diagonal pattern paper, which is okay. Everything works out in the end. It's just one of those little details you might want to think about next time you're working on your page is to work with the lines that might be in your photos to help guide the design process and design style you choose. Today I'm using one brand new stamp set, which is this Elizabeth Designs label stamp set that I purchased from a local scrapbook store earlier this year. And then the other stamp set is my loved Wild Whisper No Place Like Home stamp set, a really, really great collection. And if you guys have not checked out Wild Whisper before, I used to be on their design team and I will have their website linked down below so you guys can check them out if you're interested in getting some Canadian made products. Really, really great stuff and high quality stamps from both of these stamp sets. Again, this is my first time using the Elizabeth Craft designs, but they are absolutely amazing. So I start laying out my stamps to get an idea of where I want them. I want to use the label for a journaling block, use the florals from the Wild Whisper set to dot around and up and down around my photo. We have the house stamp up there again to emulate the home theme we're going for. And then I have my crepe paper sticker and I just pulled in a Maggie home sticker from my sticker book, which is not part of my kit but as you guys know I'm a kit cheater so I will always reach outside of my kit if it benefits the layout. Since it's a brand new stamp I wiped it on my hand a few times to try to get a little bit more of the you know the finishing stuff on there. Sometimes there's a film that's on stamps and here I was noticing that it's not stamping too evenly so I test it quite a few times on the back side of this pattern paper just to see if it was the ink pooling or what but the final time worked just fine and I'm going to bring it straight to my layout next. Just want to make sure it's kind of straight and stamps evenly. So I leave it on there for a second and make sure it does stamp and the ink transfers well. Sometimes that's something I experience is that the ink just simply doesn't transfer well. So I've been known to leave my actual stamp on my paper just for a little bit longer than I think I normally would just to make sure it adheres to the layout and to the paper. So I'm going to wipe this stamp off, especially since it's brand new and I use my Lawn Fawn stamp chamois. I think it's kind of annoying that you have to walk all the way to a sink to get your stamp chamois wet, so I always just use my little mister that I have on my desk to just soak a certain section of my chamois. That way it doesn't dry out super fast and I don't waste a bunch of water. You know, if you were to get the whole thing wet, yes, it would function a little bit more easily, but then it'll also dry out faster, it seems, or, you know, there's lots of different things that can happen. But I'm gonna continue my stamping and just stamp around my photo and my title and I really like how this ends up turning out. So there's a couple like doodle daisies. I don't even know what these other flowers are supposed to be. Maybe just like I black eyed Susan maybe since they're pointy leaves or pointy petals. And then I pull out this stamp which is a little set of three houses. Two that are outlined and one that is solid. And again this one stamps like a dream. Some stamp sets when you have a solid image like the house here it just gets splotchy but I find the Wild Whisper ones are really really great especially when you want them to do what you ask them to but this one this one works great. 
I do debate putting another house stamp on here. I'm trying to think of what I could fill that space with because I do want to use up my stamps. That's the point of this series is to use your stamps and I love stamping directly on the backgrounds to add texture and dimension in here adding embellishments. If you guys are not in the card making community you might not know that there's a style called a one layer card where you simply don't add anything on top. It's just all about ink and stamping and you know covering up certain things and then revealing the mask to reveal a special stamping pattern. That's kind of what I was doing here minus the photo area but then I think I could use my Maggie Home sticker book a little bit more and I'm sort of on an unspoken venture to finish off this sticker book this year if possible but we're almost to the halfway mark and I need to focus more if I'm going to try to do that but I am getting closer and closer to having more finished pages which I'm super happy about but I do need to keep focusing on using it so I'm going to grab some of the stickers here I have a phrase sticker I think about using some of these little plus signs but thought those just didn't fit the feel here. We've got the yellow floral going. We have this vintage -y sign that says our home. What else can I do to keep that momentum going in terms of this vintage, vintage homey vibe and mood and feel we're going with on this layout. So I do look back at my crepe paper stickers there and end up seeing that they're kind of all a little bit too weird to go on this one. These I believe were a spring themed set, so you have something that says puddles, something that says how do you do, one that says play, and one that says kindness. And they just weren't fitting the vibe of this particular layout. I decided to build a cluster in the top right corner, and that's assuming that my journaling goes in the label there at the bottom right, which will involve a lot of extra contrast since I'll be writing with a black marker or pen. So I want to add a little pop of black to the top right to help offset all of the black in the bottom. And just because you thought we were done, I do need a title somewhere because I wasn't happy with the title I currently had. So I thought the Our Home was going to be the title, but it's almost the secondary title. I thought of a really adorable title that I could do, and I decided to go with Neighborhood Watch for these two cuties just staring out the window. Because this was the first time they had a window or a door they could look out. Our other places that we've lived do not have a glass paned uh, door so but we're no longer there so now they settle on lurking in the windows to see outside but they were really happy to have a glass door and when it was nice out they could go peruse the neighborhood and just have fun so neighborhood watch was a really funny title that I could use these freckled fawn stickers for especially since I've been loving these block stickers lately and I will try to have all the products linked down below so you guys can check them out if you are interested. Sometimes I know that you see something and you really want to know where it's from and how to get it. And I'll have all that information for you midway through my description box if you keep scrolling. I wasn't quite done with stamping. I thought I'd bring back one of these florals and just add a few more to give it a little bit more fun and pizzazz. And I think it helps fill out around the title as well just to add another little doodle floral. Because sometimes you just need a little bit more. And that's what I did on this layout. And I like that it's simple enough without being too crazy. But I do go back and look for some more stickers because if it's anything like me, it's I need more stickers. So I do grab some of these minty blue ones, which end up matching the crepe paper, our home sticker, pretty well. It's a little bit of a brighter blue, but again, we're kind of going for a almost matching look. And it does work out pretty nicely that it does sort of match. So if I had to pick a color scheme for this layout, I guess it would be that baby pink in the background, the yellow, and then the baby blue shade that we kind of have going here. And then black, I guess you could count that as a color too. But I add this yellow floral, and then I also add this beautiful mint heart with yellow florals on it. And that's it for this layout. Lots of stamping in the background, but it's still very, very simple, and I really love how it turned out, and hopefully you do too. Don't forget to check out everyone else linked down below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, guys.